NPS Medicine Wise Meniscal Tears Physical Tests McMurray Test Patient lies supine. Flex the knee maximally. Hold the foot, grasping the heel with one hand. Then hold the knee joint with the other hand, placing your fingers along the medial joint line to assess medial meniscus and lateral joint line to assess lateral meniscus. For the medial meniscus, rotate the tibia laterally together with the valgus force and at the same time extend the knee. For the lateral meniscus, rotate the tibia medially together with the varus force and at the same time extend the knee. Positive test result. When the patient feels pain and there is an audible or palpable snap, click or thud during extension movement. Thessaly test. Holding patient's outstretched hands, the patient stands on one leg, the injured leg, with the knee flexed to 20 degrees and foot flat on the ground. The patient then rotates their knee and body, medially and laterally, three times, keeping the knee at 20 degrees flexion. Positive test result. When the patient experiences medial or lateral joint line pain. Joint line tenderness test involves the following steps. Patient lies supine with the injured knee flexed to 90 degrees. Palpate medially and laterally along the joint line between the femur and tibial condyles. Positive test result. When the patient experiences pain during the palpation. Pain along the medial joint line indicates medial meniscus and along the lateral joint line indicates lateral meniscus. Apley grind test. Patient lies prone with the injured knee flexed to 90 degrees. Grasp the foot with both hands. Apply downwards compression pressure and at the same time rotate the tibia medially and then laterally. Positive test result when there is pain and or clicking. For more information, please see nps.org.au forward slash ankle dash knee dash imaging.